guys, it's me Hunter. Welcome back to How To Paper Airplane. Yesterday I uploaded how to make a uh, circular paper airplane, which actually flies, which is really cool. I got braces three days ago, that's why I kind of talk a little lispy. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a cool, um, not a glider, because it doesn't really glide. It's sort of like a thrower, I guess. Gliders, they do slightly go to the ground. Um, this one does not. So, um, yeah. Well, it will have a tail, too, which is cool. Um, something I thought which was really awesome. Um, one of my favorite um, guys ever. Well, yeah, guys ever. And he has a YouTube channel. His name is uh, Granddad is an Old Man. Which, if you're watching this... I, I love your channel. Um, sorry that my brother was uh, texting, well, showing, whatever, whatever. You can see in the comments, whatever. Um, but go and check out his channel. Um, he makes cool videos. He makes, like, how to make a paper airplane, boat, all that stuff with, like, motors and all that stuff. It's really, really, really cool, which I really love it. Um... But, let's get started. Okay, so first step you want to do is flip it sideways. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, wow, it's perfect. It's perfect. So my hand's over here. So, let's go ahead and fold it like so. And that's step number one. So, yeah, let's go to step number Okay, so what you want to do for step number two, uh, yeah, step number two is, um, fold it again. See how this has a weird crease thing right there? Fold it again right there, and that is step number two. On to step number three. Alright, for step number three, you want to unfold this, fold this back down, so there's another one that crease right there. Fold it again onto that line, and whoa, bang! On to step number four. Okay, for step number four, what you want to do is turn it sideways like this, well, like that, and um, turn it all the way over right there. Alright, so once you're done with that, we, we go on to step number five. Okay, so what you want to do for step number five is unfold it. Now, fold this edge right here to right there. Like that. Nothing really, it's not really that hard, so if you had trouble, I, like, wow. If you had trouble, that would just be weird. Um, and then once you're done with that, we go on to step number six. Alright, so what you want to do for step number six is then fold it. Alright, so then what you want to do is fold this down like that. So this part right here, this line right there, is aligned with this. Like that. And then what you want to do is flip it over like that. Magical, nothing cool. And then do the exact same thing with the other side. See so like that? And then what you want to do is open this up. Here, I'll bring it back. My parents just got home. I'll bring it back. Okay, so what I just really did, because I accidentally did it off camera, because I, I thought I was still filming, it was like this. Turned it up. This right here. 
like, because there's a corner, spreading apart, put that down, magical, and if it's a little nose heavy, tape, or some tack, whatever, um, back heavy, which I highly doubt, um, just put some, um, just some tape, or tack, or whatever. Alright, so that is step number six or seven, I don't know, but it, it will say, so let's continue, continue to seven or eight, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Alright, so number six, seven, whatever, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care, um, so this nose part right here, right there, you want to fold back, which I'll get to once I'm done with that, because that seems like it's a little bit of a problem, actually no, it's not. There we go. Be done with that. Magical. And that's step number eight or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to step whatever. I'm not going to say the steps anymore. Alright, so then what you want to do is see this right here? Just fold it over like that. Boom. Done. And then fold this up. And that's step number whatever. Alright, um, then you want to get this piece of paper right here at the corner. Fold it, like, like that. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to fast forward this. Make sure you fold the other side too, just like that. And then what you want to do, here's the next side, just fold that over. Okay, how about we make this just a tiny little bit shorter. Like so. Done. And then fold that. Fold it over. Done. And done. So there's our under. But just in case. So they don't come out. I'm going to tape them. I'm done. And then you want to fold it in half. I um sorry, I missed a shot. So what I really what I did um see that the triangle taped it on. Just fold it like that, and I'm done. That's all I did. Like that. Alright, so once you're done with that, you want to get another piece of paper. So then once you're done with that, you want to fold them, like fold it in half. Just give me a sec. And then what you want to do is fold both sides like that and do the same with the other side. And what you want to do is um, with this end, any end is actually quite fine. You want to just like rip it like that. Zen. Huh? 
Alright, so that's what it looks like I can see on the video, so that's that. And then what he does is he folds this in half, which I'll show you once I'm done. You can attach your tail like so. You can make this bigger if you want, but you can't. Well, you don't have to, but I would. Um, I'm going to tape it on. I'll be right back. Done. I'll bring it back because I might need to make that adjustments. No, I do not. All right. So all I really did was um, got some tape, put three pieces of tape, same length, on each side, and um, it definitely is a lot better. Look. See? I'll do another shot from up in there. Alright, so I'm up here. Three, two, one. Woo! It seems a little nose heavy, but whatever. Um, probably not from the stairs. You, did, you should do it then, but. Yeah, maybe take one piece of tape, tape off on each side or whatever. i uh, figure it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode with another paper airplane.